video is going to be based on kind of like this summer bronzy glowy skin so I kind of wanted to actually play around with some products that I've gotten over the years but I've never really got the chance to really fully sit down and experiment with so today I'm actually using some brand new things or brand new for me because again I haven't used them in a while but things that I've gotten over the past couple of years so today's kind of like my time to relax sit down talk to you guys a little bit and then just have some fun, play around with some makeup, why not? As you can see, I'm very glowy, very dewy, very bronzed up. Of course, if you're more of an oily skin type like me, you won't use as many products as I use now because I'm taking this off in quite a few minutes. However, if you do want to go ahead and kind of sport the glowy skin, then use more illuminating products, use more hydrating products. If you're more towards a dry skin type, I feel like this look might actually be a little bit more beneficial just because a lot of these products are more illuminating, they're more hydrating. If you're more oily, I recommend using a mattifying product but compensate with illuminating product if you get what I'm saying. So if you have more oily skin, use a mattifying primer but an illuminating foundation or vice versa. That way your oils don't come through as fast as if you were to use a um, illuminating uh, foundation with illuminating primer and so on and so forth. But yeah, there's really not a lot to say about this look except if you want to see how I did it then just uh, keep on watching. So for starters, I already moisturized my skin. I'm actually using the Clinique Pep Start Hydro Blurring Moisturizer for that. I really, really do like this because it's like the perfect two-in-one product. It's like a primer and a moisturizer mixed into one, so your skin is gonna get hydration. It's also blurring because it does have a little bit of silicone in it, so if you have any like texture on the skin, it's gonna smooth that out. I do really like using this product whenever I'm doing makeup just because your skin does feel very prepared. Even though I'm gonna go in with a primer afterwards still, I like to kind of start off with this just so that I have a base. So for my brows, I'm actually gonna be using the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit Cosmetics. I actually started using this recently and I've been really liking it a lot as well. And this is the shade number six, by the way. Okay, so I already carved up my eyebrows and also concealed my eyes. Um, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and this is in the shade NC42. I actually decided to use this just because also this kind of like dries to a demi matte finish so it kind of works as an eyeshadow base. So I pretty much smoothed that down into my lids and we're going to go ahead and get started on the shadow. Okay, so I know that this was actually invented last year but I never got a chance to play with this on camera and I really, really, really wanted to. Last year was crazy for me. I didn't have the time to film. Also, my skin was going through a lot and I was very insecure. Thankfully, right now my skin is at a point where it's very relaxed. I can actually film without feeling very insecure. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of bring this now, but I'm going to be using the Patrick Star the Heat Stroke um, Summer Collection Palette. This is pretty much how the palette looks like. It's super duper gorgeous. I wanted to play around with it for a really, really long time, but again, I didn't get the chance to do it just because of a lot of things that were going on in my life, so I never really got the chance to like sit down and film a video. But you know what? We're going to go ahead and do this today. I'm going to be dipping into the shade Sandy Crotch, and I'm using a Morphe M433 brush. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of smooth that down onto the lid. Go ahead and just run that through the crease of my eye. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Mabu High on a Morphe E17 brush. It's just kind of like a slightly smaller brush actually. I really want to focus this right on that crease and right in that outer corner. I'm gonna first kind of tap that on the outer corner and then blend it in with the crease. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take Brash, I think that's how it's called, which is this beautiful copper shade at the top. I'm going to go ahead and apply that right on the lid. I'm actually going to take a little bit of the Morphe setting spray and kind of spritz that up a little bit so that, that way the color is intense. I'm going to go ahead and 
pack a little bit of Daya right where I applied the copper just because I want this to be a little bit brighter. We're gonna go ahead with the Androgyny palette by Jeffree Star. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take the shade Dominatrix and put that right in the outer corner. For some odd reason, my eyes don't tend to pick up much color. I don't know if it's because I have drier eyelids or the products that I'm using. However, this Jeffree Star formula really picks up color right in my outer corner, which is where I have most of my problems. So I'm going to go ahead, again, take Dominatrix on a smaller brush. I think I'm going to go ahead and take the E17 brush that we used earlier, dip into that shade, and kind of pack it on in that outer corner. You see how it stands out so much more? I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of concentrate that in there. I think I'm gonna dip into more of brash and kind of pat that right on the lid. I'm gonna kind of ombre that from the dark to the light. That's beautiful. Now for this kind of look, I've actually been really into doing like a smoky liner. So we're going to go ahead and take the Sephora Collection Brown, Matte Brown Retractable Pencil. I'm going to go ahead and take this and kind of run this through my lash line. Go ahead and take a little bit of that shade Dominatrix and just kind of smudge that out. I'm going to use that E36 to smudge that out. I'm gonna take this opportunity to kind of connect that a little bit and kind of smoke that out a little bit more in the outer corner. So I'm just packing on a little bit more of that dominatrix shade to really intensify that outer corner. And I'm also jumping back and forth between a couple blending brushes that are actually clean so that I can smoke this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this on this side and I'll be right back. Okay, so I already applied my mascara and my lashes off camera, and I'm actually wearing the J Lash Fox Mink Lashes. I literally just got these at like a regular retail store. They look really, really cute, actually. They're in the style Serena. I like the fact that they look kind of semi-natural-ish, but you still get the wisps. And for my mascara, I'm actually using the brand new Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. So I want this look to be on the glowy side because after all, it is kind of like a summer bronzy look. So for that, I'm going to be using the Ula Hendrickson Banana Primer. So this smooths down your pores and at the same time, it's going to give you a little bit of a vitamin C brightness as well because it does have vitamin C infused in it. So it's really, really good. I also like this because it's skincare. So not only you are putting on a primer that's going to brighten up your skin, you're also kind of taking care of the skin as well. Gonna go ahead and smooth that into my pores. Smells and feels so nice on the skin as well. And I like to massage it onto my skin so that way it gets into every single nook and cranny. And I like to kind of take with my hands and kind of press it onto my skin. I'm also gonna go ahead and take a little bit of Fix Plus and just mist that over my face. So that way my face is a little bit more hydrated so that when we go on with the foundation and everything, it glides in smoothly and it sticks better. Now, for my foundation today, I'm going to be using the Becca The Skin Love Foundation. Now, I like using this foundation whenever I'm doing kind of like dewier looks. I feel like this actually does give the skin a little bit of a more brightening complexion. Also, it does have a blurring agent in it. So, if you have any texture, if you have any pores, it's going to be a little bit better because it does smooth out the skin. Just going to go ahead and take my Beauty Blender and just kind of pounce that on the skin. And I love using a beauty blender just because it really does press everything onto the skin so much better. I feel like it gives you a more airbrushed complexion, which is better for textured skin. I personally have quite a bit of textured skin, as you can tell. But that's why I prefer to use a sponge because it really does deposit the product very evenly on the skin depending on what you're using as well. It just makes everything look more skin-like and smoother. And for my concealer today, I'm gonna be using the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. This is in the shade NC42. And to 
quickly set all of that, I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So my base has already been set by the Laura Mercier powder. I'm actually kind of go ahead and bake my nose a little bit. Now, while that's baking, I'm going to move on to the lower lash line. I'm going to go ahead and take the exact same pencil that I used on my top lash line and apply that right in the bottom lash line. Now, to smoke this out, I'm going to be using the Mabuhai shade from the Patrick Star Collection palette. I'm taking that on the M213 brush by Morphe. And just gonna use that to pretty much go under the lash line and really smoke that out. I'm not gonna take the E36 and kinda blend all of that out a little bit more. This time using Sandy Crotch from the Patrick Star Collection palette. Now for my bronzer, you guys already know that I always use my MAC Mineralized Skin Bronzer. Today though, I'm gonna be using something a little bit different. I've been loving this bronzer lately. It is by Fenty Beauty and I'm the shade Bayesian Gal. I'm gonna go ahead and use this bronzer to pretty much sculpt out my face. And I love how this bronzer is actually very buildable. So in other words, you can layer and layer and layer until you get the intensity that you want. One thing that I love doing is I love kinda patting my bronzer in instead of swiping it from the get-go to kind of just get the color in there, make sure that it is opaque. And then I like to go in and kind of start swiping so that way it blends evenly. And I'm using a Sephora Collection 204 brush, which is kind of like a little two-in-one. It has a bronzing and blush side, and then it also has a highlighting side, too. I'm going to take the E27 and just hit that nose real quick. I myself kind of personally like to really focus the bronzer right where the beginning of the brow starts. I feel like it gives you that very skinny-looking nose as well. It just makes the face look a little bit more structured and more... Feminine. I don't like to pat whatever's left on the rest of my face to add some more color, but I'm literally not picking up any more product. I'm only using whatever is left on my brush. I'm gonna go ahead and mist a little bit more on my Fix Plus before I add my blush and my highlighter. Okay, so y'all know I can't stay away from this product and it's really, really good and also it does match this look perfectly. I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Collections Face Palette. As you can tell, I'm going to be using the shade Amaretto for that. I love using this blush. As you can tell, I've already hit pan on it. But reasons why I like using it is because it's the perfect combination of a bronzer and a blush. So it complements this look so beautifully because it's very warm tone. I'm going to go ahead and kind of pat that right in the cheekbone. Now, I always like to focus my blush right where the cheekbone starts and then blend it towards the cheek and then up. I don't know if it makes sense, but I like to also bring it all the way up my temples as well. I feel like it just looks so much better. It gives you more of that sun-kissed illusion. And then I kind of like to go ahead and swirling motions, blend it out. And I'm using the exact same brush that I used my bronzer in just because, again, it has the bronzer in it, so I feel like it's gonna blend it out a little bit better. And since we're pretty much focusing on glowy summer skin, why not still continue with this brand? I'm going to be using Fenty Beauty. Now, if you guys don't know, Fenty Beauty is all about that summer kind of glowy skin as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Hustler Baby and apply this as my highlighter. I'm going to be using the Morphe M510 brush for that. And as you can also tell, I kind of went ahead and I cut the cheeks a little bit. As a very last thing that I always do on my makeup looks, I actually take a brow gel, and this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I pretty much just go in and uh, make sure that my beard is looking a little bit fuller.
Now, to finish it all off, I'm actually going to be taking the MAC Stroke Cream, and I'm going to put that all over my neck and my decolletage to get that little bit of a glow. And I'm going to take the Elixir version of the Fix Plus by MAC, which has kind of like little gold reflexes in it. It's going to be really, really cute. Just going to go ahead and uh, spray that onto my body. So that is it for this summer bronzy, glowy look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to follow me on any other social media. The links will be down below, as well as the list of products that I used in this video. So I really hope to see you next time, and bye!